What is going on guys, Hades here and today I have for you a no-nonsense guide for the Cold War Remedy or Project Scaddy Prototype Easter Egg on Classified. So before we get into it, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have either frag grenades or acid bombs equipped before starting the game and also if possible a pen or pencil and a piece of paper as just trust me, it will come in very handy in this easter egg. So, once you've got all of them and you've started the game, what you'll want to do is, you'll want to go ahead and kill all of the zombies bar one on round one. Then you'll want to proceed to the main offices at the back of spawn. Here you'll find a door or window to the left of the brew perk machine. Proceed to knock on this window by using the action button, square or X, depending on what console you play on. Now, once you knock on this, you'll hear a voice talking. You'll want to proceed to knock on this window a few times until you actually hear Samantha scream at you. Once she's done screaming at you, she will spawn in a crap ton of Nova Crawlers. Now, you'll want to knife these Nova Crawlers to basically get as many points as you can. Now once you've done this you should have at least between 4,000 to 5,000 points depending on whether you got a double points or not. These points will basically help you to succeed in this easter egg on a much lower round than you normally would. Now step one, make your way to the labs and turn on the power. I know, pretty simple right? Now you'll want to head up to the war room and across from the cola perk machine should be a cabinet with keys in it. You'll want to hold square or x to pick up the golden key. Now head back up to the main office. Look for the desk in the center of the room with this lock on it. No, this is the only desk in the room with this lock, so it stands out pretty well. Hold square or X on the drawer to open it. Doing so will reveal an image of Dereza with four numbers written on it. No, it's best to write these down on your piece of paper now and label it Dereza. Also note, quickly, these numbers will change every game, so that's why it's best to note them down every time you try this easter egg. Step 2. Head down to the labs and find the Maddox wall by. Walk to the left of this wall by and you'll find a window where you can see a teleported prototype. Now this may take a few attempts, so don't worry, but you'll need to use your grenades to throw it behind the teleporter. If done correctly, you'll hear this sound. Oh yeah, we were just there. Now, just to the right of this window, you will see a picture of Shang with four numbers written on it. Again, remember to note these numbers down and label the map name. Step three, head up to the war room and proceed to activate the DEFCON switches in this exact order. Switch one, the switch to the right of the Spitfire wall by on the upper level. Switch two, the switch inside of the server room. Switch 3 is the second switch on the upper level, and the final switch is the last switch on the lower level. Now you'll want to enter the teleporter. Once inside of the panic room, you'll see this monitor has lit up. You'll want to hold square or X and it'll slide back revealing an image of Kino with another set of numbers. Step 4. You'll now want to build the teleporter signal amplifier and go a few rounds to collect enough points to pack a punch a weapon. Quick note, it can be any weapon. It does not have to be an explosive weapon. Although I would recommend an AR as it comes in very handy with it being an accurate weapon. Once you have enough points you'll want to place the teleporter signal amplifier on the teleporter in the war room. Activate all of the defcon switches and enter the teleporter to travel to area 51. Pack a punch your chosen weapon and head back to the pentagon. Once you've returned, head up to the spawn room and go to the deserted hallway where you'll find four paintings. Use your papped gun to shoot the nameplates next to the paintings from left to right in this order. One, three, two and four. Once you've done this, the George Washington nameplate will lift, revealing an image of Shinonuma with your final numbers on it. Step 5. Now you should have four sets of numbers corresponding to four different maps. You'll need to type these numbers in on the computer down in the war room. These numbers must be entered in this exact order. Shino, Dereza, Shang, and Kino. Once all numbers have been entered, you should hear the Pentagon announcer say, Hey, meat sacks better back off! and also see the message Project Scaddy retrieved on the computer screen. Step 6. Now, it's the simple part. You'll simply want to head back to Area 51, survive three rounds without leaving, and once done, a barricade to the left of Pack-a-Punch will be lifted. You simply then need to head over to this crate, hold square or X to open it, and doing so will reveal the Winter's Howl. Once you pick up the Winter's Howl, you'll unlock the Cold War Remedy achievement. And there you have it, Project Scaddy achieved. I hope this helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like, let me know in the comments below if it did, subscribe if you're new around here, click that notification bell and I will catch you guys in another video. Hades out.